holy shit, are scary looking. Nice, fat, ugly face. BMI is a bunch of cock shit. Wrong. Agnosticism, actually, like yourself, goes both ways. It's the amazing atheist son. You equals bag. I'll suck your dick for a cheeseburger. You re loser. Those two kids were right. And now you re playing with words because you can't respond to them. Ha ha ha. Loser atheist. Even if God appears in front of you, you probably would say that that's not God, but an illusion. That's atheist people. Arrogant yet stupid. And when God has proved himself, then he's gonna burn you in hell, right? Until God appeared to prove himself as God, it's too late for humans to apologize. You will be in hell. We will see that. Remember my word from I am Capper. Wait and see. You will see when you read dying. Sweet bunk bed, bro. LOLOL. I'm sorry for pointing this out, but your voice is very nasally and therefore irritating. Try not to talk through your nose so much. Law of entropy needs to be refuted to approve theory of evolution. I do acknowledge that assumption is not the same as faith, nor does is prove what is given faith. But many aspects of meta, quantum, and therefore general physics are in fact studied with no foundation, which would qualify them as assumptions. Am I the only one who noticed 100% of atheists get mad when someone knows there is a god? They are all the same. Satan invented horror to mock Jesus. Don't be tricked. I look. I know that atheists think they write. I get it. But why do they have to being so condescending to people who have a belief in the supernatural? Sure, we ain't got no empirical evidence, but that's the nature of the supernatural. I mean, why can't you just tolerate it so that we can all get along? Seems like a more peaceful way to live if you're gonna ask me. <laughs>